Hi there everyone, it's Matt here with the railway again, thanks for joining me. Slightly different start to the video, I'm inside the goods shed here um, with an A4 Pacific 60020 Guillemot and uh, she'll be the star of the uh, video today so I'll uh, just wheel her out, couple her up the coaches and um, tell you all about what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, so here she is. Lovely A4 Pacific class. Okay, right, I'll just pan around here and we'll come under the canopy and uh, just have to talk about what I'm going to be doing today. So, um, from previous videos, I've stated that I'll be doing a, a, a series of title trains, so all trains that have formations and that had a name to go with them, um, a bit like the Coronation Scot and the Flying Scotsman, that, that sort of thing. They all had names to go with the, uh, the, 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 the route and the journey. Um, so, yeah. I'll be doing that sort of thing. Um, today I've got two in one. Um, as you can see here, I've got a set of uh, two composite BR Mark 1s and a brake, uh, along with Guillemot here and A4. Um, the two that I'll be doing today um, closely coincide with each other, and um, it saves doing two separate videos, really, and I can get two lots of information in one. So the first will be the Elizabethan, and the second one is the Heart of Midlothian. So this train uh, here actually comes from the train pack. Uh, here's the certificate, the, the Heart of Midlothian uh, train pack, um, in the one in the green box. Uh, yeah, so th this is one, it's the limited edition one of uh, 1,406. So, uh, yeah, so what I shall do is have it going round and uh, just have a little bit of history about each of the t formations so okay what we'll do we'll just get Guillemot out of the station Okay, right, so um, I'll start off with the, uh, I'll just pan round with it uh, while I talk, so you, that you can get a good look at her as well. Okay, so the Elizabethan. Uh, this service was first introduced as a celebration of the new Elizabethan era uh, in the early 50s. The service depart, uh, departure from both ends was in mid-morning and uh, with an arrival at tea time, and it ran only during the summer months. <coughs> Uh, from 1953 to 1964. Um, it ran a total of uh, 393 miles and um, the journey took from London to Edinburgh non-stop using uh, an LNER class A4 locomotive um, which this enabled the crew to change en route and also required drivers to take up as much water as possible uh, through the water trough since the, uh, the route took over 50,000 litres in today's capacity of water. Uh, the journey also took over six and a half hours to run which gave an end-to-end -end speed of just over 60 miles per hour. Regarded at the time as a creditable achievement given to the poor state of BR after the war. At, the, at its time uh, this was the longest scheduled non-stop rail journey in the world. So yeah it's, it, it's pretty notable and it was actually filmed um, by the BFI uh, and the Elizabethan Express you can actually watch that as well um, if you have the, the, the box set or you're able to look it up on YouTube just type in the Elizabethan Express and you'll get a, a, the, from the British Film Inst Transport Films uh, and it's a very good watch it, it's quite a lengthy video I think it's like half an hour long or something like that so yeah so she's thundering around the layout at the moment and um, as it is this train pack I'll uh, just give you a little bit of info on the heart of Middleton. So that ran between 1951 and 68, as depicted here. But the um, the actual train service ran between London and Edinburgh, setting off from both sides in the afternoon. And this service actually started before World War One, but was named Heart of Middleton in 1951 during the Festival of Britain. 
It was also connected with trains from Perth and Aberdeen. And um, you can still ride on the Heart of the Midlands. Um, not all the time, but during points during the year or once a year, um, courtesy of UK Rail Tours, which uh, run the service uh, up the East Coast, sit on the similar line where it ran and originally. Um, and you can currently go on that. And I believe Tornado is doing that run uh, in May this year for about £99 for a seat or £225 for a Pullman dining service. So, yeah. Yeah, so elegant as it is, you can actually still go on this. So please look that up if you're interested. Uh, but otherwise, I'll just uh, give it a few more spins around the layout. Okay, I shall just bring her into a stop, and that'll be a close to the running session. I hope you've enjoyed this one, the first of uh, quite many. But uh, if you do, like I said, have any suggestions, please let me know, and I'll endeavour to do them. So yeah, there we go, the Elizabethan and the Heart of Middleton. So I, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Thank you very much for watching, goodbye, bye.